If there's one bit of software that I recommend to every writer I work with, it's Scrivener. Why? Well, I use it and I think it really helps to be able to organize your thoughts, plan out your writing and just keep everything in one place. When we're writing something as big as a book, planning and organization are very important and just keeping you on track and not confused by your own work product. So in this video, I want to give you an overview of the software and how I use it in my own writing. Let's go. Back when I was working on my first novel, I found myself in this sort of sticky situation. I knew I didn't want to throw anything away when I deleted it because I'd had that happen before where I'd gotten rid of something, I'd cut something from my draft and then wished I hadn't and I had actually deleted it. So I had learned the hard way that I should save anything I cut and put it in just like a scraps folder or something. But as this novel draft got bigger and bigger and bigger, there were all of these things I was trying to manage. I had my scraps folder of things that I had cut but didn't want to throw away. And then I had a file that had scenes that I knew I wanted to put somewhere, but I didn't know where. And then I had my document that had the research I'd done for the book in it. And then I had my actual draft in progress. There were like, and all of these were different Word documents. I'd have to open different things. They were saved in different places. And then I discovered Scrivener. Scrivener is cool because all of these different pieces that I just described, they all live in the same place. And not only do they live in the same place, you can see them all at the same time. You can readily access them, click back and forth, drag one part into another part. It's great. So what I want to walk you through today are two different ways to use Scrivener. First, I want to talk about writing your draft in Scrivener, which I have done. And then I want to talk about transcribing your draft into Scrivener, which is what I do now. Now, if you're wondering what transcribing your draft means, it means if you write your, your first draft of your book by hand, which I do and which I, I encourage writers in my program to try, then when you finish writing it by hand in notebooks, you have to transcribe it. At some point, you have to turn it digital because that's how the world works. So I sometimes use Scrivener to write and sometimes I use Scrivener to transcribe and I'll talk about each of those in turn. We'll start with writing. Okay, so here are five cool reasons you want to write your draft in Scrivener. First, writing your draft itself. So the way that a draft is written in Scrivener is that each scene gets its own little file. It gets its own little row on your left-hand menu and you give it a name and you know it's like its own little entity. There are several cool things about this. One, you can move scenes around. If you decide you want them in a different order, there's no like highlighting, copying, and pasting like there would be in just a regular document. You simply grab the scene and drag it somewhere else. Another reason is that it's really helpful to be able to name the scenes that are in your story. It has this powerful effect of forcing you to consider every scene's purpose. So if every scene on the left-hand side of your screen has a name, you can just scan the list of scenes and sort of get a sense of your overall story. It gives you a bird's eye view of your work in progress that is just impossible to get with other pieces of software. The second thing I love about Scrivener is focus mode. Focus mode is just what it sounds like, a mode that you can put the software in to block out distractions. All you're seeing on your screen is the document you're working on, with the exception of another thing I love, the next thing, which is your target countdown. So you have this little box where you put how many words you want to write, either today or all together, and this box will show you your progression on this little progress bar. And it actually changes as you're typing. So as you're typing, you get to watch the bar move along the screen, which has this effect of just like sending you affirmation. It's like a dopamine rush as you see it go up and really encourages you to keep going. Next thing that I love about using Scrivener is that when you need to send it to someone else, it's really easy to do. You don't have to send them a Scrivener file and then like have them download a Scrivener. No, you just hit compile and you're ready to put everything that you want to go into this draft that you're sending into the draft in whatever format 
you want to send it in. When I say everything you want, it's because you have this little menu where you can check everything you want to be compiled into the same document and not, and you don't check the things you don't want included. So if there are scenes that you thought, well, I don't really love that, or that was more of a scrap scene, you just don't check that box when you're compiling the document. And in case it's confusing, the, the compile command here just means, hey, put all of these things into one document and I'll choose which kind it is. Is it a Word document? Is it a PDF? What is it? And I'll download it and then be able to send it to someone. Finally, folders. In Scrivener, there are folders and they will appear on your left-hand menu and you can organize and create these folders however is useful to you. I use a folder for research, a folder for characters, and a folder for scraps. And under each, that's what I put. In research, I put all the research I'm doing. In the characters folder, I put any ideas I have for characters or any research maybe I've done specific to certain characters. And then of course, in my scraps folder, I put everything I'm cutting from my draft because you never want to throw anything away just in case you decide later that you want to use it. If you already use Scrivener and have a particular feature of it that you love, drop it in the comment below. I would love to hear what your favorite features are because I don't even know all of them and I'm always looking to learn more. By the way, this channel is all about helping you write your best possible book and have fun doing it. So please like and subscribe because I don't want you to miss anything. I have tons of tips and tricks that I am here to share and I don't want you to miss any of it. Okay, back to the video. Now let's talk about transcribing your draft in Scrivener. So this is what I do now because I handwrite my first draft of a novel, which means I end up with about four notebooks that are full of writing and that I then need to digitize. Enter Scrivener. So one reason I love Scrivener for digitizing my handwritten novel draft is that when I've written a first draft, there are like uh, maybe not a lot of scenes, but definitely a handful of scenes that I end up not knowing where they go. You know, as I was writing, I thought it went here, but as I'm transcribing, I realized, oh, well, I, I don't think this is a bad scene. Like, I think this probably goes somewhere in the book, but I don't know where it goes. If I were just transcribing into a regular document, I wouldn't know what to do with those random scenes. But in Scrivener, it's very easy. I just create a folder called random scenes and each scene gets its own little file here. So. I put all the random scenes in their own folder and all of the scenes that go into the draft in the draft folder. And it's a really easy way to keep track of your writing. Now, here's another cool thing about that. Because in Scrivener, you name each of your scenes, you can also tack on little prefixes to the beginning of your scene names. And you can do anything with this, but let me tell you how I use it. If I have these random scenes that I don't know where they go, what I'll sometimes do is say, okay, well, I think this goes roughly near the beginning, or I think this one goes in the middle, or this seems like a scene that goes in the end. So I'll just tack that onto the beginning of the scene name, B-E-G for beginning, or M-I-D for middle, or E-N-D for end. So it's just a shorthand way of writing into the scene name roughly where in the book you think that scene is going to go. And with transcribing in Scrivener, just like with writing in Scrivener, it's really easy to compile the draft and convert it to whatever format you want it to be in to share it with people, whether that's Microsoft Word or a PDF or something else. Okay, so now you know that Scrivener is an amazing tool, but the tool is only useful if you have the knowledge to apply to, to put it to use. And as a three-time published novelist and writing coach, I've put together a free training for you on my exact process for writing your book. It's called How to Write Your Dream Book with a Full-Time Job and a Life. And all you have to do to get this free training is click below to apply to my program, The Book Incubator. The application is only two questions. You can do it in under five minutes. There's no obligation to join the program, but if you're admitted, I'll send you that free training right now. It'll definitely be worth your time, I promise. So click below and get it right now.